going with metal band called Metal. <laughs> uh, first things first, guys. I'm a bit confused about the history of the band. So Metal was founded originally in '81, right? And yeah. well, how did it actually happen? It was founded in '82, to be precisely, uh, by our bass player Sven. And uh, yeah. Then we split up, the band split up in 91 basically because of uh, the end of the GDR. It was it was an original GDR band, I have to say that first. And then it was refounded in 2013 by Sven again and he found some old guys and later later on he found me and now we're back, basically. <laughs> okay, and uh, does anybody here remember how the metal scene was back then when the band was first uh, founded? Yeah, he does, but yeah. he does not speak well English. <laughs> so should should I ask him in German? Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wie uh, erinnerst du dich an die Metal Szene, wie sie früher war? Was uh, ja, sind die großen Unterschiede? Die großen Unterschiede waren, also im Raum waren ja die DDR-Bands Ersatz für die großen Bands, die nicht nach Ostdeutschland kommen durften, also die DDR. Ja, yeah. warte. The GDR bands at that time, there were no big bands like Metallica, Iron Maiden, Slayer, whoever allowed to play in the GDR at the time. So um, the GDR bands were like smaller bands and they covered a lot of songs, for example, and did play some, of course, too, but most of the fans didn't want to hear them. Yeah. Their own songs. They were they were basically cover bands mostly. Yeah. So the local bands were some kind of a stand-in for the for the famous bands exactly. coming from from USA, England, and whatever. Like like Joel mentioned, like Iron Maiden, like Saxon, Judas Priest, and so on. So they they didn't perform in the GDR at all. Yeah. Later on, they did. They did some gigs, as far as I remember. Mid mid of the 80s, Maiden played behind the Iron Curtain, yeah. the famous tour. Yeah. Poland, GDR, and so on, but but, but most of the time, of course, um, the, the youth, the youth, and also in the GDR, they were hungry for metal, yeah, and so they had the local bands, and the local bands were their famous stars, I guess. Okay, and uh, how did you get the band? Back running later, how did, how did that happen, and what kind of band is metal today? Uh, back, the band got back together when Sven asked Taylor, our drummer, to make to remake metal basically. So they decided, hey, let's do it again. He was hungry for for doing some metal because he's basically a, a bar owner and a. a, a, a Found his own festivals and stuff like that, <laughs> and um, yeah, they they refound it basically for just for fun, basically. Okay, and uh, well, wh uh, what would you tell me about metal? What kind of music do you play, and uh, what is metal all about? I, I think we play pretty basic, traditional heavy metal, like the '80s stuff, with some probably modern. Trash metal influences. Yeah, modern and also 80s, 80s, yeah. 90s yeah. thrash metal stuff. Yeah. Okay, and uh, well, the band has uh, roots way back in the 80s, but you, it released uh, the first album only in 2017. <laughs> yeah. So, what was behind that? Um, as far as I remember, what Sven told me was. Um, that at the end of the GDR, so end of the 80s, you you had a you had four four uh, you had that four songs of that platter. Split up. Yeah, mm -hmm. they had a small EP, yeah, with four songs, but uh, due to the breakdown of the GDR, it has not been released. Wurde nicht er veröffentlicht, oder? Doch, wurde veröffentlicht, aber die Firma hat dann pleite gemacht. Ah, so it has been released, but the company they got bankrupt. Yeah, yeah. So at the end, there was no outcome. As I told told you before, it's like um, at that time the GDR bands were like mostly cover bands, mm. so they didn't have any own records or own songs to pr to get produced, you know. Yeah, that uh, album has to be a rarity by now. Yeah. 
Gibt es das yeah. Speed Album? The Speed Up Record? Ja, yeah, you can find, actually find it. Ja, find it's yeah. 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 so 150. 150 Euro now for yeah. the Speed Up album, for the four single EP or four track EP. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about the newest album then <laughs> Metal Fire. Yep. So uh, it's been out already for over a year now, actually. So now that some time has passed, what are your own thoughts about the album now? I love it. I think it's a great record. So, so w when I joined the band three years ago, there has already been uh, the Metalheads album has been released, and the Metalheads album coming to to the mixing and 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 so so on. It was a really good quality. It was, yeah, it was a bit a bit trashy. Uh, yeah, not not oh, yeah, not coming just for the, to the music side, but for for the mixing for the technical part. It was a bit. Uh, yeah, it has, does, didn't have really punch and especially the, the drumming, the, the snare it was a bit lousy and and now the the, the second album, Metal Fire, uh, coming to the mixing and so on, we, we did a lot of work in the studio, yeah, and a lot of work with the, with the engineer and so on and I would say we're really proud of it it's definitely because a step it's up. a step a step forward, of course, yeah. not only from, from the technical point of view but also from, from playing style and, and Composition and so on. It's for us. It's a, it's a step forward. Yeah, it's in all points. Oh, I yeah. Two guitarists. And yeah, and of course, we uh, the first album has been recorded with only one guitar player. Of course, with different uh, tracks. Of course, yeah. But uh, now we have uh, on Metal Fire we have two different guitar players, and that's of course totally different when you record uh, when you record a. Uh, um, single with a with only one guitar player yeah because this one guitar player he has this unique style and you hear this even if you do double tracks or whatever yeah you hear this is only one guitar player playing but when you have two guitar players they have two different styles and they're unique and it sounds totally different of course okay uh well Corona affects everything at the moment, so uh, you have to talk about that too. So, how has it infected uh, your band? Uh, I think how I remember is uh, uh, what I really know is we lost like fifteen gigs. Yeah. That's what the story. Yeah. And um, Corona. Well, we're a hobby band. We don't get a lot of uh, money for our gigs. But what is what isn't bad at all but, but uh, um, the thing is we wanted to make a record so then and for the record we need money we have to uh, earn this money and then we have to pay the studio to go into the studio and pay for the record basically and uh, we wanted to start the record this year but it didn't work because we had no money left basically and um, but suddenly we were not even allowed to re rehearse to rehearsal anymore, you know. So so we couldn't even write on our new track. So we, yeah, the band stood still for quite for about four months, I guess. Yeah, we did we did more or less nothing. Yeah, like all other bands. Yeah, of course the main the main point is we lost a lot of money. Yeah, and for us as a non-professional band, this is really hard. Yeah, because as Joel just stated, um. We would like to make another record, and we do not have the money at the time. Yeah. It costs it costs a lot of money, even for for non-professional mu musicians. Yeah, studio time and so on, the mixing and I mean it, some some costs will be covered by the record company. Yeah, which is Pure Steel Records and and Iron Shields Records, which will pay the um, the production of this of the CD. Yeah, and the, the printing of the cover and so on. But at least all the studio time needs to be paid by us yeah and we lost a lot of gigs and especially a lot of interesting gigs yeah of course yeah where we would be headliners festival like, like i said like i said before at Taunus festival and then a lot of open air festivals which did not take uh, place and and we could not play there and of course and the festivals are the best gigs yeah the most interesting but, for us but the which pisses me most of is that you do not have contact to your to your fans to your supporters to your to the audience yeah this is i mean not only for us of course also for the professionals 
I'm I don't think that they do this only for the money. Yeah, it's like a drug being on stage, playing music, look into the eyes of the people. This is it's, not, it's, not the bad one. It's it's <laughs> it's like a drug. Yeah, and and you need this. You need this. And I as a, not only me. I guess we all we really we really miss miss this. Yeah, a lot of bands have done like streaming gigs. Did you uh, consider that option, or is it for you? We discussed it, but only for two minutes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it True. was it was a was a was a uh, unanimous decision um, that we will not do this because this it's is like not, a rehearsal on yeah, on it's stage. like it's like a rehearsal on stage or or whatever. This is not our stuff. This is not the real thing. Yeah, to be honest. Because you do not have audience and, and whatever. And, and most people I talked to didn't watch them anyway. I mean, for our particular yeah, scene, the, the underground heavy metal scene, they don't tend to. Uh, I, what I feel is like they don't tend to watch <laughs> like, online streams anyway. So <coughs> why should we do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what kind of experience is a uh, metal live gig when they do start to happen again? Pure, loud, heavy metal. Like a punch into your face. Yeah, like a punch into but your in face. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> I like that. Uh, thank you so much and all the best. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. welcome.